Welcome back to Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man. We are really getting into the Ultimate Iron Man spirit by emptying out as much of our inventory as physically possible. Here's a lamp we got. And I'm going to put that into... Let's do magic. Still don't have herb lore unlocked. That's definitely going to be where lamps are going to be going in the future. But first things first. I've got some things in my inventory that I no longer want in my inventory. Adam Scimitar. Willow Blackjack. Bronze Pickaxe. Here's a knife. My wizard robes. Steel pick. House tellies. Mind runes. Which sell for zero. All these cakes. We are looking very good in minimizing the amount of things we have, but we are going to need this hammer. What we're doing will become pretty clear as we continue to collect the things we need. I'm going to need some other runes, specifically law runes. So we buy 10, how much does this go up in price? It doesn't. Well, it's a high price, but it's at least consistent. So I'll take it. We're going to need 72. And they can sell them back for 120, which is a terrible, terrible price. Then we're going to need elemental runes. Give me a stack of earth runes. I think we do not have enough money, actually. So we're going to go take a trip to the Agility Pyramid. We're going to need some cakes for that. We sold all the cakes and we can't buy them back. Okay. We will do as much Agility Pyramid as we can do without needing any food. I'm not going to risk it. And we do now have teleports out, so that'll be fine. I guess we do another... Nope. Not that work. We are scraping, scraping the barrel here to have enough of everything we need here. But a few rounds of the agility pyramid, and we will be good to go. And we'll head to Varrock for the last bits that we need. All right, I grabbed some jugs of wine on the way down here, just in case things went very south, but we didn't really need them in the end. Now we can teleport to Varrock for the first time, and Romeo immediately bothers us. Not right now, Romeo. I got things to do, and those things have nothing to do with wine or water skins. Because we are heading to the sawmill. Because we are training construction. I guess I did need a little bit more money here. Because I'm going to be purchasing other things. So might need more money in the end. Did not quite calculate that out as well as I probably should have. We'll get the level at least. We'll get there. There are many Ultimate Iron Man construction training methods. And also, Mahogany Homes is a thing. Unfortunately, we can't really get the steel bars with our paltry mining level. And I would want other things unlocked before doing that. And also, there's other construction methods using the balloons or using limestone. I just need a very small amount of levels right now. Just want to get to a good starting point here. So we're going to need a saw. And we're going to need oak planks. Oak trees 
conveniently located right here next to the sawmill which we'll be coming back to every time with the Varrock Teleport. Chopping them with our steel axe here. Which quickly become obsolete here with our 29 now woodcutting. Unfortunately we don't have a very quick way right now to get a better axe. So this will do for this short amount of construction training. In future endeavors, we will strive to get a better axe. But for now, we will chop our oak logs with our steel axe and be happy about it. We've managed to give ourselves 20 inventory spaces for the logs here, which is about as good as we're going to get. We need the money, we need the runes, we need the axe, we need the saw and hammer. Even if we had a looting bag, we could put the staff and the scimitar in, wield the axe, and we'd get one additional inventory space. And 20 is a pretty solid even number to work with. So as we level up our construction we should be able to make reasonable things out of our oak planks. Here is where all the money is going to go to. Making oak planks. 250 each. And then we teleport outside the house so we can quickly transition to build mode, where we actually need our bank pin. Bank pin is a thing on Ultimate Iron Man. Doesn't come up all the time, what with the not having a bank, but here we are. Here we are indeed. Okay, here's our house. Not looking like much, and we actually can't use our oak planks with this setup. So we need to build ourselves a workshop. 10,000 coins. And we will... Let's rotate this the other way. Build that. In here, we can make... Not this. Clock making. 16. One level off. Repair space. Repair bench with two oak planks. That will be the start of our ability to train some construction with oak planks. Now we're immediately level 16. Now we can build this with four oak planks. Much faster experience. A slightly more awkward. You could upgrade that furniture rather than removing it. I'm aware, I'd rather remove it. Yeah, this is a more awkward way to go through here. Make a workbench now. Let's see if that just uses oak. Nope. We need to make a regular wooden oak, a regular wooden workbench first, level 17, which we do not have those supplies. So instead, honestly, with all the extra clicks here, it might just be faster to build something else. And weirdly, the regular repair bench over there looks like it was made with regular planks, even though it was oak. There's a little 18. The goal here in the workshop is to get levels high enough to make oak chairs at 19, so we just need one more level there. What can we do with the tool space? This is also pretty useful. We can do that at 15. Okay. So now, we have used up all of our oak planks. So we get to teleport back to Varrock. I think I'm going to go recharge my prayer, just because why not. And then we chop more oak logs 
turn them into planks, teleport to my house, and continue building things. Over and over. Until we get the level we need. Then we'll just show each new type of thing that we build. Just to show the progress through the construction skill here. So we're currently 18. Let's build some new things. Here is the tool store one. It's pretty convenient. If you ever need a saw or hammer, or chisel or shears, I guess, we can get from here instead of going to some other store. So that's convenient. And then very quickly here, if we make one more of these, that gets us to 19 for oak chairs. Now these are three planks each, so we'll have to find another option to spend all of our planks each time we come here. Let's build all of the oak chairs here in our parlor. Looking nice. Eventually, we're going to need more rooms here. And they're going to be fairly expensive, which means we are definitely going to need to get more money. But for right now, let's build a kitchen. Right like that. And we'll build a dining room. Right here. We can't actually build anything here quite yet. 22 for that. But eventually we will. We don't even have a crest or herald. We don't have a logo for that yet. So we can't build that. Could build something here if we had regular planks, but we do not. So instead, we're still just chilling with the regular old oak chairs. There's old 20, which we actually could start novice contracts for mahogany homes now. Although that might be regular planks, which, I mean, I guess that would be still okay. Wouldn't be a huge problem. Would still be nice to use better planks until 29. So the most efficient use of planks is still kind of the clockmaker's bench, but also there's extra steps to it. So I do as many threes and then some twos. Either way. Here's Romeo again. Wonder how often he's gonna bother us on our teleporting into Varrock. What a guy. What a guy. Alright. More oak planks. Level 22 construction. We can now make oak benches and oak dining tables. These are each four planks, so that is very convenient with the 20 planks we can bring per inventory. And there isn't the additional, you can upgrade this prompt, like the clockmaker bench. So it's equally fast making things with four planks each time, but it's actually faster because it is. All in all, the difference between making stuff with 
a few planks or more planks isn't enormous. But anything to speed up the training. And this is pretty good. 25 construction. It's time for Tool Store 2, which contains a bucket, a spade, a tinderbox, and a knife. So, nothing too crazy. But just having all these variety of things easily accessible is pretty nice. We're not locked in any specific area which would mean that these were the only way to get some of these tools but still the more tool stores we have the more options are available to us which is always good 26 construction I get to upgrade my chairs now they're a fancy armchair, and I somehow managed to conjure a cushion out of oak planks. That makes sense. Don't question it. Oh, I made the wrong chair there. Doesn't matter. I just get rid of this chair. Build a different chair. That's just science. I will replace that other chair later. We have four oak planks here, so... We gotta make the most of it. Wow, four experience off the next level. Fantastic. Fantastic. Level 29. Oak bookcases. To match with the oak chairs. Very fun. Still haven't gotten anything that uses more planks than the dining room set over there. But we will get there. Eventually. 31 construction. We can now make carved oak tables, which use six planks each. Combine that with benches, or we can also make the new and improved carved oak benches. Still only four planks each. But now we can do an inventory full of planks with only four constructions. Two fancy tables and two of any kind of oak seating. Fancy or not fancy. Obviously going with fancy. So Speeding it up just that tiny smidge more. Level 32. Oak kitchen table. And a slightly more functional piece. The oak workbench. Technically, we could sit here and make some flat packs. But that would, in fact, be... A slower option. So we're not going to do that. As much as a lot of these things are cosmetic, they do make the house look nicer. So I will continue to make them. And there is level 33, the big one. Because we can now make oak larders, which take a whopping eight planks each. So we can come in here, build a singular bench and two larders to get each trip done in just three builds. Again, the amount of builds doesn't speed it up a huge amount. We still take a lot of time running and chopping but it's good. It's good. And this is going to be basically the maximum as far as making progress towards faster 
experience here. We can't get to two, because that requires something that takes ten planks. And that is not available at this level. So, one bench, two larders, and whatever other things we end up making a few of. All the way to our goal level. 35 construction. The next tool store is available. And it's not right here. It's actually over here. Where we can get a brown apron, specifically. Glass blowing pipe and needle. Nifty. And there is the goal level for now. 42 construction. To build the costume room. Now, the only thing we can make in the costume room with this level is the oak wardrobe. But that's okay. I mean, it's the only thing we can put in anything in the costume room currently, so. We don't really have too many things that we could store. Ultimately, we're going to need more than just that. But it's a good start. Unfortunately, it is also way outside of my current budget. The costume room. 50,000 coins. Also, I want a menagerie, which is 30,000. So I am going to get out of here, complete a medium lumbridge and drainer area task by teleporting to lumbridge, and head back to the agility pyramid to make more money. Ultimately, we only need the 80,000 coins to make those two rooms. But since I'm going to the Agility Pyramid, I might as well make the most of it. Make it, make it a worthwhile trip. So I'm going to get my water skins, get some wines, and get to it. Another 170,000 coins from the Agility Pyramid. And now we can build these rooms I wanted. Have an outdoor menagerie. Eventually we'll have pets we want to put in here. And for that, the only thing we need is the oak pet house here. I believe you can put three pets in here. So that'll be perfectly fine for quite a while. And then the other room that we want, I guess we'll just put it here for the time being. With the convenient room mover, we can put this literally anywhere at any point. So, The costume room. Only one way you can have this in here, so there we go. And the wardrobe space. The only thing we can make takes four planks, and there it is. Uh, we got the option to remove and stuff, upgrade again. We're just going to do this four times, use up the rest of these planks we have. Don't need them for anything else. Interestingly, 42 construction is also the requirement for medium stash units. But we won't be able to store medium clue school rewards until the teak treasure chest, which is at 66. And hard, not until 84. So, there's going to be significant amounts of construction in the future. But now that that's done, we go to our house options and turn off building mode. I suppose we can turn on teleport inside. Either way is fine. Should also probably turn on the 
The door is always open. We can keep the doors. They can they can still exist. So let's have them be open. So looks a little bit more plain when you're not in building mode. There's definitely still things we need to do. Like adding the rest of the stuff in the kitchen so it's actually functional. What we're really here for is the magic wardrobe. We search it. We can see there is tons and tons of things that you could store in here. And the base magic wardrobe can actually store quite a few of them. What we're most interested in, at least for now, is being able to store the Graceful outfit. Now there is very specific ways that the costume works on Ultimate Iron Man. You can store the things in there. And you can take them out. But unlike other account types, you won't be able to take out any items until you complete the set. Even if you don't have them. So, say we only have the graceful cape. We put it in here. We're like, oh, I want my graceful cape back. No. No, you may not. So what that means is we can store any of these items in here that we want, but we need to get a full set, which is a different amount of things in different situations, before we can take them out. But then, say we only wanted two pieces of our graceful set, we could put the rest back in to store for later. And as a hardcore ultimate, there's very little chance that we would lose any of the items. So getting the things locked into the costume room is not really a possibility. It'd be very specific about which things you build here. We turn back building mode on here. With a recent-ish change, the magic wardrobe and the armor case can hold a ton of things, even at the lowest level. The cape rack, lowest level one, can store all regular capes, but no skill capes. That accelerates through the higher level cape racks. The toy box just stores everything, no matter what you put in. The treasure chest requires Significantly higher levels to store medium and then hard elite and master items because this is a holdover from when it was originally just easy, medium, hard. Now we also get the lower level beginner clue squirrel items in the oak treasure chest. And the fancy dress box. You still can only store some in the lowest level one. So if we got a few more construction levels, we could start putting in random event item outfits. But only a few of them. If we wanted to store all the random event stuff, we would need to first get much higher construction and then get the randoms and then put them in. Then you can't take them out until it's a full set. It's a whole process. But we will work on all of that once we have better training methods available like mahogany homes but for that I'm definitely going to need better stats and speaking of better stats we still have two stats we've never trained and as much as we have plenty of other stats that are incredibly low, and we've basically never trained, these are still just level 1. So I think it's time to get that sorted.
next time. Goodbye.